In this video, we will have a closer look on how to draw cable trays in 2D view. When we have pushed the button for draw raceway, we get the dialog. We can move it and uh, put it on top of the properties menu. In the raceway dialog, we can see that we have options for drawing line system and raceway type, etc. Let's go to settings. And here we can see that the angle settings are disabled. That is because we have chosen corners as 90 degrees. And now we can change the settings when we have a round corner, so to say. We can also select from a variety of cable trays. There are some already from the beginning, but it's also very easy to import your own cable trace. When product information is already used, click replace selected. Otherwise you can double click on the left mouse button. As you can see now, we have the new width and height and uh, we save dialogue settings for further use. And we see the dialog settings that are saved. And then we press save and then give it a name that makes sense to us. Now we can input the elevation and we will have to select if it's the bottom, center or top of. And then we can select the distance, in this case 300. We go to object snap, put it on. When snapping 3D objects, be sure to activate set coordinate settings. You can change all dialog settings after the first click. All settings except raceway type can be changed while drawing the network. By pressing U, you can undo the last part of your network. If you select the cable tray, you get the possibility to drag it. And now we can put on the plus sign and then we can start, for example, changing the elevation with a free rise angle. We can also do new elevation with predefined rise angle. When you see the block sign, then change the drawing line. It is possible to borrow elevation from object in the drawing. 
and uh, the cable tray turns yellow when you have a clash. It is easy to avoid clash by changing elevation for the cable tray. Let's put in 3600 to avoid clash. Let's define the rise angle to 45. As we can see, automatic connection setting is active. This setting can be temporarily deactivated by pushing Alt GR. We can also go to settings and Deactivate automatic connection. Let's check out how to draw overlapping cable trays. By right clicking on the cable tray we can use the same cable tray type and draw it. Now let's mark this network of cable trays. We can select the one we are interested in. Let's push Alt GR. Then it connects. Let's remove the automatic connection. When automatic connection is deactivated, borrow elevation from objects in the drawing. Now we want the elevation of a specific cable tray, so let's mark the one we're interested in. Now let's check out how to draw a cable tray to another story. Now let's select story 2 and uh, we continue on story 2. And when needed change drawing line or elevation line. Select top of. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us.